Welcome back everyone. My name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about mics. So once we have talked about camera which one to use it's also important to have a good audio. Now see as a subscriber or as a viewer when they watch a video they might compromise on the video quality but not the audio. Audio is very important when it comes to video lectures or it may, it may be your screen recording as well so audio is very important so how will you make it good now first of all when you're recording yourself of course you will be using a camera or a mobile phone and that will be in a distance right so if you directly use that microphone of a mobile phone it will not be that effective in fact it will so your your voice will echo in the room and then it will be very bad audio for your video so what are the best options you can go for? Now if you want to keep it simple, you can. if you are using a mobile phone as your camera, you can use your earphones as your mic. In fact, that is what I have used for my earlier videos. Now if you have a earphones with you, you can see we have a mic here. Of course, not every earphone will be having a mic, but make sure that your earphone has a mic there. Now you can use this mic to record the audio. Okay, this is not that great, but it will be decent so that people will be enjoying your content okay it's not be that bad you have to also make sure that the, there will not be any surrounding sound okay when i say surrounding sound yeah so if you're shooting at your home there will be a noise of your family because they will be talking they will not be waiting for your video and maybe there is some construction work going on nearby your house and that they will be making a lot of noise so you have to make sure that you avoid those noise in fact yesterday when i was recording a video there is a construction going on near my building so it was creating a lot of noise so you have to make sure that you use a mic and that to shoot when everything is silent. Now when you will keep this, you can have your headphones in this way because when you wear your headphones, your mic will be near to your mouth, right? So it will be a good place to be it. Otherwise, if you don't feel comfortable wearing, wearing the headphones, you can also uh, you know, put this inside your shirt or t-shirt and then keep this outside because this will be able to receive the voice. So that's how we can use your earphones to record the audio. The next option is if you want to go for a mobile phone recording and if you want a good mic, you can go for a lapel mic. Now this is the, the mic which I'm using now is a lapel mic. Okay, so the lapel mic, the problem is with lapel mic is the length of the wire. So in fact, when I bought the lapel mic for the first time, it was a rod mic. I did some investment. It cost me around 4,000 rupees and I thought it's a worth investment, but it was having a small length cable. So you have to make sure that you buy a mic with a big cable. So rod was awesome. The quality was awesome. But then I wanted a big wire. In fact, they also provide you the extension. You have to buy it separately. But the problem is the moment I joined the extension, there was a noise. I don't know, it was because of the friction between the cables or something. So there was something, so there was some noise in the wire itself. So I went for this very cheap one now, which this is a Boya mic. I don't know how they pronounce the company name. So this is a Boya mic. This costed me around 200 rupees, need to check that. So you'll find that in description area, the actual link of the product. So this is a Boya mic. The advantage is it has a very lengthy cable. Can you see that? After using, after connecting with the camera as well, this is length of the wire we have. So yes, you can have, you can stand anywhere and I don't know how long this would be, maybe 10 feet. That's a good cable you can use. This is not the best cable available. It's just that it has a lengthy wire and it's cheap and it works. Okay, now what next? The next one is if you're using a camera, you can use a shotgun mic. So this is how your shotgun mic looks like. The only problem is if you're talking to your camera like this, it will pick up your sound beautifully. But what if you want to write something on a board? Because the moment you turn, you are pitching your voice somewhere else now. So shotgun mic will not be able to pick it because it picks your voice straight. Okay, so that's how it works. If you want to use a mic for camera as well, this works. So because this has two different settings, let me show you that. So you can see this has a setting here. There's a camera option and a smartphone option. If it is not visible, that's fine. Just trust me, it has two options. So if you're using it for camera, you can uh, you can switch it. It has two, two batteries. Uh, that's one problem we have. It's not that you have to replace the batteries, but when you have to replace the batteries, because we don't have any indicators. It happened with me multiple times that there was no charge in my battery and this was not working. I made one or two videos and then realized there was no audio recorded. We have a smartphone option, so if you want to use it for smartphone, you can switch that and it works. But what if you want to use a mic for your screen recording? Because that's where the, your audio is very important, right? Because you're not sharing your face, you're only sharing your screen. So you can sit at one place and you can record. And for 
for that i would suggest you to go for this type of mic yes it is an investment but trust me it's an investment okay you're not wasting your money if you're serious about making videos you can also go for the zoom mic but i'm not a big fan of it this perfectly works because it has a stand in it uh, you can control your volume you can uh, have different settings here this is the one-way mic it also has a mic on this side so we can take the interview it also has a mic which pick up the sounds from any place so it doesn't matter where you are you in the room it will pick up the no pick up the voice and noise as well because it is very sensitive and then it also has a mute button so if you want to mute you can do that so i use this for my screen recording videos okay so if you see any screen recording i also use it for my live sessions and when i when i give interview online the today itself we had an interview so we can use this type of mics there so that is blue yeti which costed me around 12,000 rupees. The price is dropped now. You can check it out in the description area. There's a link for it. Blue, Blue has multiple mics. This is one of, one of them. The other one is Snowball, which also works. But the only problem is you have to be very close with the mic if you want to record a proper, no, proper voice. Okay, so that's the mic you can use. I would still suggest if you want to use it for a mobile and a camera, you can use this type of mic because this works. All my recent videos has been recorded with this mic. So if, if you love my quality, this is this is good. Otherwise, you can you can still search online. That works if you want to record your screen. Even uh, I can also use this one for my face recording. It's just that you also need to take a scissor for that to hold the microphone. And that's an, another investment we can go for. That's the mic you can use. So you can use your earphones, you can use a lapel mic, you can use a shotgun mic, you can use a condenser mic. I don't know how, what name it is, but it's a blue Yeti mic. Uh, otherwise, you can use a zoom mic. So that's your choice. So try it out. This is the one cheapest option you have. And then we have earphones. So I hope you got something about mics in this video. Let me know in the comment section. And do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.